So we've been building adding machines using logic gates using logically and here I've packaged up an adder into an integrated circuit. It's a very nice feature in logically that once you've made a circuit you can package it up into a box. So you can see I've got four full adders that I've wired together. The first full adder I have got a constant zero input going to the carry in because there's nothing being carried into it. I could have used a half adder here but I've used a full adder just to keep it simple. And I've got three columns. I've got the ones are here, the twos are here, the fours are here, and the eights are here. The light bulbs represent the binary result, the binary answer of our, our addition. And what we're doing is we're adding up two rows of binary numbers which are represented by these switches here. So imagine these are ones and zeros in these switches. So if I throw the first switch, I get one. One lights up here, so my binary number is 0001. I've also wired up a seven segment LED display which will show the result as a hexadecimal number, but it gives you a clue as to what the answer is. So it behaves a little bit like a calculator. So simplest addition you can do is one plus one. So if we add another one in the ones column, so we're adding 0001 and 0001. And the answer is two, of course. We can't write two in binary. We have to write it as zero. Zero, one, zero. So two plus two, uh, sorry, one plus one is two. I turn one of those off. I'm going to add something in the twos column now. So I've got a two and a one over here. Two plus one is three, which is one, one in binary. If I add another one here, we should get four. And now the light bulbs change. It scoots over here. So we've now got zero, one, zero, zero, which is the result of two plus one plus one. Let's add some more numbers in there. So I'm going to add something in the fours column. So now I've got four plus two plus one plus one. And the result of that is eight, which is written as one, zero, zero, zero in binary. I can add some more numbers in. So here we go. That's interesting. I've now got a four here plus two plus two. That takes us to eight plus one plus one takes us to ten. So this is ten in binary decimal which is written as one zero one zero in binary and this is written as a in the hexadecimal number system hexadecimal is a base 16 number system so once you get to nine in hexadecimal instead of writing one zero you use letters so you use letters through a through to f so a is 10 in decimal it is 16 uh, sorry a is 10 in decimal and it is one zero one zero in binary. Let's add some more numbers in and see what we get. Ah, we've got E now. What number is that? So it's 1110 in binary. And that's made up by adding 1 plus 1, so that's 2, plus 4 over in the 2s column, so we're up to 6 now. And then 2 8s, so we've got 10, 14. So we've got number 14 in decimal, which is 1110 in binary or E in hexadecimal and my little hexadecimal counter will get a bit confused if I put too many numbers in but let's see if we can make the number 15 let's see if I can work out how to do that so I'm going to turn on one of my eights so I've got eight over here I'll have a four I'll have a two and I'll add a one so there we go here's the number 15 now it's eight plus four plus two plus one in decimal and we've made that by adding an eight to a four plus a two plus a one down here and that's giving us the result of 15, which is written as F in hexadecimal.